So hello and welcome back to Geology. And in today's video, it's going to be a short video, we're just talking about grubbins and horse. And they are a certain type of geological formation that forms uh, with the strike dip fault. And, you know, this doesn't form by itself. There's some type of lateral movement along the ground. So we have a, a land mass this way. We have movement probably so here's the fault system we have movement this way and that way so that's yeah maybe that's north that's south and if we look side on we also have so this is the ground and this is going into the asphenis to the asphenis here into the mantle so we also have some movement probably left and right and we might have some movement up and down so you have different types of movement so the left and right will be north and south here so we have north and south up and down would displace these two sides so that's the easiest concept and that's where we have the first graph so we have the normal fault in which we have a foot wall which is okay so a foot wall if we draw a mine shaft on this side where you're going to walk you're going to walk down here so that's the footing and that's the foot wall and the hanging wall is the wall above so it's the roof of the actual mine shaft so that's where that concept comes in and the same with this we have a mine shaft there, and you can see that a reverse fault, the foot wall is going down, the hanging wall is going up. Normal fault, the hanging wall is going down, the foot wall is going up. So they're two of the basic concepts that you should get your head around. And usually they have a different angle, but you know that varies. It's just. Uh, Probably the angle of both of them are in between 30 and 60 degrees. But, you know, you can get different angles as well. So, if we look at the second graph. So, this is a side-on of a, a normal fault. And this is how grubbins and horse form. So, we have this section here, which is rising relative to the actual valleys, which are sinking. And that is because these would actually, they could form either shortening or lengthening. So if there is a, a lengthening where the land actually gets longer, then this concept prevails. So the actual land will be sinking. If there's shortening in which the land mass is becoming shorter, uh, the horse would form and uh, be pushed up. That's just my concept of the reading that I've actually interpreted. So, now, when you are looking at horse and grubbins, you can't mistake them for compressional features. So, this is where the actual land is being compressed during ero orogeny. So this is mountain building, so you've got anticlines and synclines, and you can see that the strata is folded. It's not faulted, that's where horse and grubbins come in. Now, at one time it could have been folded, and then it's been broken, and then those have moved relative to each other. But in general, you have a broken, broken sequence. So the fault sequence goes all the way down. And you've got this material, which is one, is the same as this lower material here. So you have a movement of the actual strata up and down. So that's a fault system. So that's how that actually gets broken. And hopefully over the next few videos, I'll be able to teach you a lot better because I'm not really that used to teaching people okay so 
if we look at the angles in which these uh, faults form, so here we have zero, so that's ground, 180, yeah, that can occur, usually it doesn't, it needs to be metamorphosed underground, uh, but here, so we have an angle of about 30 to 60, that's the general angle in which uh, faults form, now they can form you know, 90, and they can probably form also closer to here, so that's more like thrust faulting, in which the actual rock has been uh, uh, pushed over top of itself. So these two are the same sequence, but this one has just been pushed over the top of uh, that rock sequence, so it's been broken. So basically, that's horse and grub, and the basic concept of the power they uh, do form. I hope this helps you out. Uh, let me know what you think of this video, and leave a comment down below.